Today is August 11th. Today's quote is entitled, If you are not inspired, you can't inspire others. Leaders are always enthusiastic. If you are not inspired and enthusiastic about what you are doing, you will find it difficult or impossible to enthuse and inspire others. Prabhupada once wrote me, and I was telling him that I was helping the book distributors, trying to encourage them. He said, always encourage them. That will help you. He said to other devotees, if you encourage others, you'll be encouraged. If you try to make others enthusiastic, you'll be enthusiastic. And of course, you have to have some enthusiasm in the first place to inspire others. So. If we find satisfaction, if we find happiness, if we find enlivenment in Krishna consciousness, it's very easy to inspire others. If we are not inspired, it's kind of like we're faking it when we try to inspire others. Although Prabhupada said it will help us, and it's right, it will help us, but there's got to be a sufficient degree of inspiration. And what I've noticed in our movement, the devotees who are always the most enthusiastic became the leaders because the leaders were the ones who were leading, obviously, and the ones who were most enthusiastic tended naturally to be the ones who lead. So as we become inspired in Krishna consciousness, we become naturally a leader. Now, a leader doesn't mean you have to run a temple, but it means a leader in the sense that people will look up to you for inspiration because you're inspired and you can naturally inspire them, obviously, because you're always inspired in Krishna consciousness. And we're all meant to be leaders because there's always new people coming. And if you've been a devotee a little while, new people will look up to you. And if you're not inspired, they'll start to worry. Well, is this what happens when I become a devotee? After a few years, like you, I lose my inspiration because right now I feel pretty inspired and pretty excited about Krishna consciousness. Am I going to end up like you for some reason, lose my inspiration. But if you're inspired, it builds faith because people will see. Yes, you stay in Krishna consciousness. This is what happens. You become happy. You become inspired. You become satisfied. You become enlivened. So best thing we can do to inspire others is not just speak inspiring words, but be an inspiring example. And as, as you may know, you can speak inspiring words, but it doesn't always inspire people that long. But if you're an inspiring example, at least whenever you give association, people will naturally be inspired. And what I see from my own experience is that people gain faith when they see devotees progressing in Krishna consciousness. So if you've been around a little while and you're advancing and people see you, they think, well, if I stay around, I will also advance like this devotee. I can see this devotee's becoming Krishna conscious. I can see he's becoming like it says in Prabhupada's books. This is what happens when you advance. That gives me encouragement. That gives me satisfaction. That gives me hope that if I stay in Krishna consciousness, I'll also be inspired, advanced, and peaceful. Yeah.